A few months ago, I moved in with my girlfriend. Yay! So now I have two step cats. This is Woodrow and this is Teddy. I love them dearly, but Teddy can be really loud in the morning. He doesn't want attention and he's not hungry. He has plenty of food, but what he wants is his more tasty wet food. He has always received it around 10 or 11, but recently he decided that he would like it as soon as he hears anybody get up. And that's not great because both my girlfriend and I have work in the morning, which often includes video calls. No, I'm not a cat. I realized that when I make a bigger noise than him, he stops. Meow. Sometimes just for a bit, but sometimes he just gives up completely. Meow. The problem with this method is that, well, I have to be there, and according to my research, if you correct your cats too much, they can start to resent you. So I decided to make a robot to correct him for me. I call it the Meow Deterrent. I found some commercial solutions, but things like this shock color seem quite mean. This is not electro boom for cats. I was looking for something that just startles him with no harm, and after doing some intense Googling, it appears that the two most popular ways of doing this are a water gun and shaking a can full of coins. We're in a carpeted apartment, so I went with a can of coins. I tried a few different ways to make noise with a can and a motor. Something got stuck. Ow. Oops. In the end, the most reliable solution was to just put pennies in and use the motor to shake it. I built a little structure to hold the motor and can in place. I attached all of this to this metal piece from an old monitor base that should be heavy enough to keep it in place, especially when I attach the battery. To control it from a distance, I got this remote and control it from Adafruit. It took me a little while to figure out how to make it work, but it turned out I was just using the wrong pin. I tried connecting the controller directly to a relay so that when I click the remote, the controller turns on the relay and that connects the motor to 12 volts, but this didn't work as I hoped. The problem is that the controller sends little pulses instead of a steady current. So the motor turns on in little sputters. I solved that by using an Arduino Mini and by writing a super simple program that detects the pulse from the remote and turns on the relay for a predefined amount of time. I first tried one second, but the motor went too crazy. Okay. I reduced that to half a second. That seems more reasonable. Now, I just needed to put it all together with batteries. Thankfully, I have this battery pack that has a 12 volt output for the motor and a USB port that provides five volts for the electronics. I'm only using the robot for a few days, so I didn't make an enclosure or solder the components. And the robot was done. <laughs> so the way this is gonna work is that we give them the wet food consistently between 10 and 11, usually 10.30. But before that, I'll have the remote in hand and I'll try to be quick so that the shakes happen as soon as he howls. I also have to pretend that I didn't notice him so that he doesn't think I'm behind it. I know he needs to meow and express himself, so my plan to do all this without traumatizing my cats is I only plan to activate it on the most obnoxious ones, and even then only in the morning before he gets his wet food. I'm also combining that with positive reinforcement, meaning that when they're quiet for a good while, they'll get a treat. And lastly, I'm limiting the trial to one week. And of course, if either of the cats seems overly stressed or anxious, I'll stop. So that was the plan, uh, let me show you what happened. The first day did not go so well, actually. Fell on Saturday, so I placed the robot by the bedroom and waited. After a little while, Teddy came by, stretched, and he let out a little whimper, and because I was trying not to look, 
I mistook it for wine and triggered a robot. Not a good start. I know. It gets a little worse, though enough for him. But after a while, he came back and checked out the robot. After checking out the robot and the camera, he let out his first legitimate meow. And it worked for him. Unfortunately, I was so focused on Teddy that I completely forgot about Woodrow. She was next to my girlfriend and got startled, so she jumped on my girlfriend with her claws out. Thankfully, my girlfriend barely noticed. After that, Teddy cautiously checked the machine and then he kind of lost interest. I stopped the testing for the day and decided not to do it in the bedroom anymore because it's kind of like their safe space, so I wanted to feel good in the room. So for the next few days, I moved to the living room and it, it went much more smoothly. Whenever Teddy let out a big howl, me or my girlfriend pushed the button. After a few times, they stopped freaking out, which is good, but it still got their attention, even if they were in a different room, which is also good. And when they were quiet for a while, I gave them a few treats. Did it work? <laughs> well, it was very encouraging from the beginning. On the second day, I only had to activate it a few times before he got the point. And he meowed a few more times, but in a nicer way, and then he went quiet for a good while. So I gave him a treat. Uh, the same thing happened on the next couple of days, the third, fourth day. I only had to activate it once, I think. And then they got a treat for being nice and quiet. The fifth day, I had a video call. So I gave the remote to my girlfriend, and she said that they were really quiet and didn't need to use it at all, which is great. And then on the sixth day, it was kind of the opposite. Teddy was really loud and it was earlier than his usual time of 10 or 11, so I activated the robot a few times and that worked for a bit, but he started howling again. And uh, talking to my girlfriend, she said that the previous day, she actually ended up having a call that would go past their feeding time. And they had been so quiet that instead of feeding them late, she fed him earlier, like at around 9.15, which is fair enough, but with that, Teddy now decided that that was his new schedule to eat wet food. And since there was only a day on the trial week left and I don't want to send him mixed signals, I just decided to stop the trial early and, and leave it at that. So I might try it again after we give him wet food at a consistent time, but for now, Teddy, you win this time. I hope that was interesting and you can subscribe over here if you like. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.